Hello everyone. Welcome to new video off Whiteout Survival. Today I have come with a new guide video for you. Time to show your glory in one versus one. Because today's topic is arena. This video is the fourth part of my hero guide series. In this series, I have already discussed on hero exclusive gear, hero gear ass and stone, and drill can. Today I will give detailed information on Arena. Let's jump in our video. What is Arena? Arena is a 1 vs 1 battlefield, where you can fight opponent using your 5 best heroes. The battle totally depends on strategy and tactics. You have to design your heroes with specific lineup and you have to fight opponent. Arena has 3 parts. In defensive lineup, you have to design your lineup. Your opponent will attack you. In challenge part, you have to attack your opponent, and your goal is to break opponent defense. You will get points if you win challenge, but you will not lose points if you are defeated. From defensive victory, you will not get points, but from defensive defeat, you will lose points. If you defeat opponent with higher points, you will get more points. Now, before attacking, you should check opponent lineup. You have to decide whether you can win or lose. How you can predict this, I am coming to that point soon. The third part of arena is history. If you are defeated in challenge, you can attack same opponent again from history. You can come back stronger. Now let's check the battlefield. S represents slot. Remember the number, we need them again in video. S1 and S2 are the place to stand in front line. It means they will take the highest damage from opponent. So we should place any tank type hero in S1 and S2. Generally, we consider infantry class hero as tank type hero. But it is not necessary that. Infantry should be always in tank position. There are some Lancer, who are excellent tanks. I will mention them soon. In the list, you can see who will face whom in the battlefield. As an example, S1 will face opponent S2 S1, S5 S4, and S3 respectively. Our S1 will take highest damage from opponent S5. And our S2 will take highest damage from opponent S3. Our S1 will take less damage from opponent S3. And S2 will take less damage from opponent S5. Our S1 will attack opponent S2. Our S2 will attack opponent S1. These will happen when infantry will be placed in S1 and S2. Now let's see what will happen when Lancer will be placed in S1 and S2. Lancer S1 will attack opponent S2 and S5, both. Lancer S2 will attack opponent S1 and S3, both. Have you noticed one thing? It does not matter if S1 and S2 are infantry or Lancer. Opponent S4 will stay untouched in both case. It means we have to play such type hero in S4 who will stay alive till the end of the battle and who can make highest damage. I will tell soon. Now coming to second line of heroes, S3, S4, S5 are the second line, who mainly make the damage from your side. Whom to place on these slots? Marksman class hero can deal highest damage, but they are weak in defense. I just hold S4 places safe, and they can stay untouched till end of battle. For this reason, Marksman class should be always placed in S4. From the list, you can see, only S4 has good chance. To hit opponent S4, S4 is the only place to can cover. Other 5 slots of opponent lineup. What should be placed in S3 and S5? Of course, you have to place Marksman and Lancer in S3 and S5. But it changes in every battle. After checking opponent lineup, you have to decide whether you should choose Lancer or Marksman for S3 and S5. I told, S1 and S2 can be Lancer in some case. Similarly S3 or S5 can be Infantry in some case. But in that case, anyone of S1 and S2 should be Infantry. In some case, S4 can be Lancer in place of Marksman. But that Lancer and S4 should have area of damage skill. I will explain those exceptional case soon. In normal case, S1 and S2 are Infantry, S3 and S5 are either Lancer or Marksman, and S4 is Marksman. This is how you have to design your lineup. Let me show you an example. 
We have Sergei and Natali as infantry hero. So we will use them in S1 and S2. Molly is Lancer who has area of damage skill. So in this rare case, Lancer will come in S4. And I will fill S3 and S5 using Marksman. In both first line and second line, there should be at least one hero. Who is CC skill. CC skill means stuns, freeze, knockback. Here, in first line, Sergei and Natalia, both has knockback skill. There are mainly five type of skills. 1. CC. 2. F. O. D. 3. Heal. 4. Buff. 5. Burst. F. O. D. Means area of damage. Molly. Gina has area of damage skill. Buff means to give bonus damage or defense to other heroes. Heal means to give health to other heroes. And burst means to deliver excellent output of damage. Bahiti. Charlie. Jesse has burst skills. All your five heroes should have combination of these five skills. Natali and Sergei has CC skills. Molly and Gina has area of damage skills. Bahiti has burst skills. Healing skill is missing here. This is how you can prepare a lineup of correct combination. Now let's check the battle. Look at Sergei and Natalia, their health is reducing quickly. Because they are taking damage. After you win a battle, you will get manual, hero EXP and random hero gear, as reward, as your rank will go up. Each time, you go to battle. Click on any player to check his lineup. Look at this lineup. Opponent has one tank hero. That means either S1 or S2 place is vulnerable. This type of defense is generally easy to break. You should also check how much troops your opponent has. If you look here, you can count how many troops own hero has. The more higher level your hero is, the more troops they can take with them. As you can see, Natalia has 9 troops, but Sergei has 8 troops. Because Natali is in level 61, but Sergei is in level 51. Check opponent level and count their troops. If you have more troops, you have higher chance of victory. Open your hero's list and check any hero. You will find two options, troops capacity and escorts. Troops capacity is for expedition. That means wilderness or city battle and escorts is for exploration. That means exploration stage and arena. Number of escorts will decide how much troops your hero can take in arena. Escorts value for Natalia is 9. So Natalia has exactly 9 troops with her. Similarly, escorts value of Molly is 8. So Molly has exactly 8 troops with her. So you have to increase your hero level as fast as possible to get higher escorts value. Check the opponent level, if you find opponent hero level is low. It means they have low troops with them, so you have higher chance to win the battle. Before starting battle, keep these things in mind. Hero lineup, hero type, hero level. Okay let's fight the battle. I have won the battle, because I calculated battlefield environment, like hero level, hero lineup. I am showing you a chart based on hero and hero skill types. Pause the video and take screenshot. The list is updated till generation 6. There is controversy about Zinman, Philly, whether they are free to play or pay to win. I am putting them in pay to win list. You can use this lineup in low level. S1 and S2 tank. S4 area of damage attacker. S3 and S5 burst damage attacker. If you check the list, you can see Flint and Patrick. Both has healing skill. For this reason, you can use Patrick in S1 or S2. Even though Patrick is Lancer, Mia has also healing skill, but Mia can heal only herself. So it will not be good if you use Mia in front line. But in case of Patrick, he can heal everyone. That means he is proper healer. Moreover, Patrick is melee class hero. 
so Patrick should be used in front line. For S4, you can use either Molly or anyone from burst class. Use this chart to make combination of your own lineup. Lineup can be changed from generation to generation. I am giving you a brief idea about it. For free to play, in generation 1, you can use as 1 as Sergei, S2 as Smith, S3 as Bahidi, S4 as Molly, S5 as Charlie. For generation 2, you can replace Smith with Flint and Charlie with Jesse. For generation 3, you can replace Jesse with Mia. For generation 4, you can replace Gina with Lynn. Now let's check the pay to win lineup. S1 as Geronimo, S2 as Natalia, S3 as Molly, S4 as Bahidi, S5 as Zinman. In generation 2, replace Bahidi with Alonso and replace Molly with Philly. In generation 3, replace Flint with Logan and replace Zinman with Greg. In generation 4, replace Natalia with Amos. This is how you can design your lineup. Remember, there is no lineup as best lineup. Each lineup has its counter. You have to take decision before starting the match, seeing opponent hero and their type. Now, each class has strong point and weak point. Let's check them one by one. Infantry class is strong against Lancer class, but weak against Marksman class, Lancer class is strong against Marksman class, but weak against Infantry class. Marksman class is strong against Infantry class, but weak against Lancer class. So, you should change your lineup according to your opponent lineup. If you see your opponent has to Marksman class hero, you should use to Lancer class hero. You should have a balanced team of Infantry, Lancer and Marksman. The arrows represents which class is capable of taking down which class. You should always use at least one Lancer hero because your infantry will be defeated in early, but opponent marksmen will survive till last if they stay in S for position, so you need Lancer to defeat opponent marksmen. I just told there is no best team here. You can see I have designed my own team according to my style. This team is not permanent, sometimes. I use Patrick in frontline and, sometimes I use Gina in S3. Why I use this team, S1 and S2 need tanks. Sergei and Flint both can take damage, Molly will work as area of damage hero. Lin is in S for position, that means she can survive and. Lin has buff skill, Mia can heal herself, if both tanks are down, Mia can continue the battle. Now Mia and Molly both are Lancer. They can attack S1 and S2 position and they are strong against opponent marksmen. That means I am using balanced team. In rare case, I will make minor change in this team. You should also make a balanced team. Now let's go for battle. You can clearly see S4 is the safest position. This is why your most powerful hero should be placed here. In rare case, Flint can come to S3. That time Patrick will be placed in S1. I can show more example how this team works in many situations. I told, if both tanks are down, Mia can continue as tank. See here how Mia is controlling the front line. Each time you win, you will get points for challenge victory. And, opponent will lose points for defensive defeat. You can predict the outcome of battle by checking. Opponent hero class, skill type, position and, level. But there are some more things. Which can create impact on battlefield. Hero gear, mastery forging and, exclusive gear. The more powerful the hero gears are. The more powerful the team is. I have already made guide on Hero Gear Ass and Stone Ant. Hero Exclusive Gear. If you have not watched it, check it. Link given in pinned comment. If you want to make good rank on Arena, you should challenge someone who is equally strong like you or little stronger than you. Every day, you can challenge 10 times. First 5 are free. You have to get next 5 using gems.
This is how you can fight in arena, design your lineup, and get victory. Now, comes our most controversial hero, Philly. This hero is excellent for arena, but it is hard to tell if it is free to play or pay to win. You can purchase Philly shards, so it can be paid to win. But Philly shards are available in Fortress Battleland. Hall of Heroes event, so it can be free to play. If you manage to get Philly for star, use it in arena. Philly is the example of perfect healer. It can take damage and do damage at same time. I'm using Philly to show the healing skill. Now, let's check the reward of Arena. There are two type of rewards, Daily Rewards and Season Rewards. In Reward, you will mainly get Arena Token. From Season Reward, you can get a Furnace Skin. Arena Token can be used to purchase item in an Arena Shop. You should focus on Mythic Gear Chest. But there are more useful items I will discuss on Arena Shop in future. Remember, Mythic Gear is always best option because you can increase the bonus effect using Mastery Forging. Each gear can be used to increase different stats like health, defense, damage, lethality. This is how you should make plan for Arena. This is the place where you can show your glory. That is all for this video. To watch more, subscribe.